for you guys. Mm, you guys are playing basketball, eh? Mm -hmm. Where's your mom? Ah, okay. So who's winning? <laughs> What's the problem? I suspect my husband is having an affair. <laughs> and so what? Which husband is not having an affair? You mean your husband is also having an affair? Uh -uh. I did not say so. But all the same, I can't vouch for him. After all, he traveled last week. Who knows what he might be doing there? But till I catch him red-handed. Then what will you do? I would forgive my own husband, but his partner would get it hot from me. But it's not her fault. Your husband went for her. She tempted him. And if she did not agree, there would not be any relationship. So, show me the woman who wants to snatch your husband. Let me give her Pepe. <laughs> I haven't seen any yet. The fact is that my husband has not been performing his conjugal duties in bed. That is why I, I, I'm suspecting. Conjugal duty? My dear, as far as I am concerned, my husband's conjugal duty is to live in peace with me and take care of his family. No, 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 no. I don't think that is right. I disagree with you. A woman needs love. Love? <laughs> If he doesn't come to bed, don't bother him. Men don't like to be bothered. And I'm sure after a while he will bounce back to action. Well, if you say so. Okay, give me something to drink. Everything you want. Comfortable home, money, expensive jewelries. So what else do you want? There is no substitute for love. I mean, tell me what woman will not be happy to have her husband by stay by her. Take her out and you know, just make life sweet for her. Becky, you talk as if we just got married yesterday. For Christ's sake, we were married for over twenty years. And the way you complain these days gets me worried. Because I cannot die in silence anymore. I mean, I can't go around pretending that I'm happy when I know that I'm the most unhappy person in the world. Did you say most unhappy? Yes, you heard me. Most unhappy. All you do is travel around the whole world. I mean, even when you're at home, you spend your spare time just going through your documents and files. Oh, you know my schedule is very tight. Oh, I see. Tight enough that you don't even care about my feelings anymore. Festus, Festus, when was the last time you took me out for dinner? When? Okay. If taking you out for dinner will make you happy, I'll take you out for dinner tonight. 
ابراہیم شراب how special you are. No one can take me away from you. Not even your wife. Not even my wife. If you say I am that special, why am I not married to you? I thought we've talked about this before. Then I am not as special as you say. You are special in a different way. I am not getting any younger. I cannot remain a spinster forever. I can't divorce my wife. I did not say she divorced your wife. Marry me. I can't marry a second wife. Well, besides, you know about my political ambition. I can't afford any scandals. Now let's go straight to the business of the day. When did you say the people are coming? Phone your wife and tell her you're not coming home tonight. Why? The carcass meeting will extend late into the night. That's what they say I should tell you. I already booked a suit for us. Darling, I can't come home as promised. The business meeting will extend into the night. You know how much I hate night driving. I'll make it up to you, please. I uh, love you. Good night. business meeting. I don't want her to know about my political ambition yet. Huh? Pastor, you're welcome. Thank you very much. We welcome you so much. Thank you. Uh, we'll offer him something to drink. Yes. Pastor, what would you like? Uh, no, not to call it. Yes, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Well, Pastor, I'd like to inform you that I have chosen Theresa to become my wife. Mm. Oh, yes, Pastor, and I've chosen Nick to be my husband. Oh, that is wonderful. You see, my Bible tells me that he that findeth a wife findeth good thing and obtaineth favor from God. I think two of you are meant for each other. 
Yes, I do believe 12 years are meant for each other. So when do you plan to commence the official procedures? Um, Some pastor, you know I'm in my final year now. Yeah. Um, six more months, I'll be out of school. Yeah. Pastor, I'm, so, I'm afraid that is not all. In another two months from now, I plan to travel abroad. I plan to travel to Brussels precisely, you know, and I'll be staying for close to another one month, you know, so I can tidy up a lot of businesses I have left there. So for that reason, we may not be able to give you any dates for now. You know why I'm saying this? We are born again Christians, and our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Nick, make sure you don't know her till you're officially married. <laughs> we know that. Uh, we don't have any problems with that, Pastor. Do we? Mm, no, Pastor. I don't think we will. Oh, we'll abide with that and I will let him touch me. You have had it. The problem is usually caused by the man. Nick, if you can't hold on, you two can marry on a small scale. And after that, the big thing can come. No, Pastor. We are ready to wait. You see, we are Bible-believing Christians. And the Bible says love is patient and kind and very understanding, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Pastor, I think it's better for us to just wait so that we can just get married once and for all. Well, since you're waiting in the presence of the Lord, of course, there's nothing he cannot. Let me pray for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning, my darling. I'm so, so sorry. No, don't tell me you're sorry. Just tell me you'll stay with me and it'll be all right. But you know I can't tell you that. I'm already late for an appointment. I just came home to change. <sighs> Festus, are you having an affair? What makes you think so? I mean, within the last few months, you, you have completely changed. It's business. Business? <laughs> Is it not the same business you were doing before we got married? Yes, yeah, the same business, but not the same office. When we got married, I was only the copywriter. But right now, I'm the managing director. You take a lot of responsibilities, and I mean, it's not easy. That strong smell of female perfume coming from you. I mean, I can't miss it anywhere because it's one of my favorites. Oh. This is the perfume. I bought it for you. Just to make up for my absence last night. Perfume. And you think that will make up for the disappointment? Won't you apologize for accusing me falsely? Now, be good enough to accept the perfume from me. No way. You'll take this perfume right back to where you got it from. All I demand from you is just for you to hold me close to you. I mean, remind me of those times when we were inseparable. The times are no longer the same. We have outgrown the pigeon romance. For goodness sake, you have a daughter who is 19 years old. She looks up to you. Oh, she thinks she comes out here to hear about this outburst. She is a grown woman now. And she knows exactly how I feel. She has a serious relationship with someone. And she's even going to bring the person home to introduce to us. And I guess she understands what it means to love and be loved in return.
think the foreign super press and the novels you've been reading have gone into your head. Remember, I'm bringing Tim home for the first time to meet both of you. I pray so. Mom, you don't sound encouraging. That reply is not encouraging at all. What is the matter? Well, um, you'll have to ask your father for that answer. Mom, is something wrong? You don't sound cheerful at all. Talk to me, what is it? Why do you think so? Mom, I know you too well. Alright, tell me, are you lonely or something? Don't worry, my first semester exams will soon be over and I'll come and keep you company. No more lonely days, I can assure you that, okay? okay. I'll be glad to hear that. Mm? I'll be glad when you return. <laughs> By the way, how is Tim? Oh, Tim. He's fine. He's cool. He's mm -hmm. cool. You really do love him, don't you? <laughs> Mom, devastatingly. And um, he loves me too. I'm glad to hear that. I'm just so glad to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> that reminds me of those good old days with your father. Mom. Mom, are things different now? Well, you know, he hardly comes home anymore. I'm not even 40 yet, but I feel so old. Look at me, I try to look good, you know, stay trim and trendy, but... The more I do it, the more I lose it. Oh, don't worry, it's okay, all right? Just give Dad some time. I know he'll come back to his senses, okay? Yeah. You'll be fine, right? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I'm lucky you. <laughs> All right, you can wait and I'll finish up with the game. Mom, this smells nice. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> She doing? Oh, well, I said to remind you of Saturday. Saturday? What about Saturday? Festus, don't tell me you've forgotten so soon. She just called you only yesterday to remind you that she'll be bringing her fiance home to introduce to us. Oh, please forgive me. Too many things on my mind. Yeah. Saturday. Saturday. I won't be around. I'll be going on a business trip to the Garden City of Port Harcourt. Oh no. No, Festus. Ah. You can't and you won't do that to our daughter. I mean, she's put all her hope in you. And you can't let her down now. Becky, there is nothing I can do about it. After all, he's not coming to marry her yet. 
there will be plenty of time to meet with a young man. Be a good wife. Host him. There's no need to apologize. You're not the first person that has said that. People always think we're sisters, but actually, she's my daughter and I'm her mother. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to have a young, trendy, and beautiful mother in love. Well, you can say that again. <laughs> well, you are welcome to our home. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so, Mom, where's that? Search me. What do you mean? I think we should just get started with the food. <laughs> <clears throat> Tonya tells me you're doing your masters. Yes, international relations and personal management. My father wanted me to be an engineer, but a deviator. Well, he's not happy, but then there's not much he can do about it. Mm. Are you the first child? Oh, no, I'm the last. Oh, <laughs> the last one. They're the pampered ones. Were you pampered? Well, um, I never really spent time with my parents, you know. My mom died while I was three. My father, he's a top-notch politician, so always here and there. You can say I grew up with um, the housemaid. Yeah, yeah. She did a good job, though, but uh, it's not the same as parents, okay? That's true. Well, so sad to hear about my mother. But I do hope you'll make Sonia very happy. Mm. I'm sure she can vouch for me. Did you? Yeah, I will. Mm. I hope you like our home. Well, um, well, I'll say like is an understatement. Well, um, please excuse me. I'll get something in my room. Oh, ah, okay. So young and beautiful. Has anybody told you that? <laughs> My husband said so the first time we met. <laughs> the first time you met? God, that's such a long time ago. I'm talking about right now, I mean this very moment. You're a beautiful behold. Thank you. I see some people are just lucky. Oh, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, I was just telling you, mom, what a beautiful woman she is. <laughs> it's a family thing, mm -hmm. I wonder you're such an angel. I see you around some the farmer. Say that again, please. <clears throat> well, I do have to apologize again for not having my husband around. Oh, it's okay. He sits here. And you're doing a good job of um, sitting in for him. <laughs>
fine. Ah, oh, what are you doing here? Well, I was looking for you. Me? <laughs> How did you know I was going to be here? I asked your daughter where and when you shop and she told me, so... So, any problem? Um, uh, well, I wouldn't take much of your time, madam. I, I feel so uncomfortable calling you madam. Can I call you Rebecca? Oh, sure. Feel free. Okay, uh, there's something I want to tell you. Uh, I can't hide my feelings anymore. Silence is driving me crazy. What is it? Is it my daughter? No, of course not. <laughs> it's you. Me? How do you mean? Well, since, um, since the day I walked into your house and I saw you, things have not been the same. Um, I don't know, this, this might sound stupid, yeah? If falling in love is stupid, then I don't want to be wise. I'm sorry, Rebecca. I'm in love with you. No, no, no. This must be a joke. I mean, you're embarrassing me. You, you possibly couldn't. But my daughter told me that you, you're absolutely in love with her. Yes, I, I can't deny that. I love her. I love her until the moment that I saw you. I knew that love can, can come in different forms. Listen, um, whatever it is, I'm not going to start with this thing to this. It's just apparent nonsense. You're not that. Good day. But here, okay? Something tells me he's going to disappoint me again. Mom, don't talk like that. Dad wouldn't do a thing like that because he knows how important today is to you. Does he care? Mom, just keep trying his line, okay? I'm so sure he's on his way. Where are you? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in the... Mm. So why aren't you here yet? Yes, I'm in the middle of a serious business meeting. What are you insinuating? Okay. Rebecca, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Hello? Hello? Mom, what is it? Um, I just need to get some air. Get 
soon be left alone for a while, huh? Upset. Why? What's wrong? Dad isn't here yet. Oh, where is she? Out in the garden. Okay, let me see her. Listen, don't disturb her, okay? No, oh, I won't disturb her. I just want her to know that some other people care for her. Hmm? Right. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry you made me this way. But I'm all right. I'm fine. I can read your mind. I know why you're crying. I understand what you're going through. It's him, isn't it? He couldn't disappoint his, his mistress, so he had to sacrifice your happiness for her. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Everybody knows it except you. Your husband is having an affair. Are you trying to blackmail my husband? To consider what you told me the other day? Contrary, I want to give you the love that you deserve. I know you want it. Just stop, stop it, my please. For Christ's sake, I'm a married woman. And you're my daughter's fiance. Fiance? Not husband. Look, I can opt out of the relationship anytime I want. Well, not for me. For you, Rebecca. I'll do anything for you. Break your daughter's heart for you. Stop it. Sorry, I can help myself. This, this is some crazy passion. Stop it. I don't want to be saying that. I mean, have you ever considered what my having an affair with you will do to my daughter? It'll just kill her. No, it won't. I know Tonya. Tonya is a strong girl. She'll survive. Just stop it. Tonya! Honey! Mom! What's wrong with you? Is it because Dad's not here? Mom, at least you have Tim and I to keep you company. Yeah. I, I'm fine, darling. Well, just be happy for once, okay? Okay. Today is your day, remember? Yeah. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now let's let's go inside and have something to eat, huh?
Festus, I'm sick and tired of all these excuses. If I remember rightly, you used to care about my feelings. But most recently I've discovered that you no longer have any respect whatsoever for my feelings. What's all this feelings and respect talk all about? Please, I had a tedious day. Allow me to sleep. You won't sleep till you tell me why you've been treating me like rubbish. I mean, you no longer perform your conjugal duties. Since you won't let me sleep, I think I'll leave the room for you. What are you going to? Come! Come back here! Hello? Yes, who's this? How did you get my number? Your daughter, of course. What do you want? Lunch date with you. How can you call me by this time of the day? I tell you I can't sleep. I can't stop thinking about you. I love you so much, Rebecca. Listen, uh, this is madness, Tim. What's wrong with you? My husband is upstairs. Very well then, I won't stop talking until you agree to a lunch date with me. Look, there's something important I want to tell you about your husband. Oh. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Where? Night, I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Please don't keep me waiting, okay? I'll be waiting. Look behind you.
you have. I brought you some locals, eh? So this is it. You took advantage of me. And you are mean. How can you do this to me? This is rape. What are you talking about? Come on, what kind of man do you think I am? Check yourself, Becky. I did not touch you. Then what am I doing in your bed without my clothes on? Well, I brought you here myself. I did not think it was wise to let you go home in your drunken state, so I brought you to my place. As for your clothes, you took them off yourself. You even begged me to make love to you. Oh. No. Listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. It's okay. I understand what you're going through. You know, Becky, when I say that I love you, I mean that I do love you. And I'm not talking about sex. It has nothing to do with sex. Yeah. You know, I, I want you here with me. I adore you sincerely. I just wish that you you'll understand where I'm coming from and reciprocate what I feel for you. It's, it's, it's okay. Just let me get my clothes, you know. And please do look away while I get dressed. <laughs> look and away like, like this. And thanks for helping me. It's okay. And um, I, I hope I did not embarrass you when I when I asked you to to make love to me. Well, no, not really. Even though I would have loved you, yeah, but the situation wasn't right. If you ask me now, I will. Yeah. Let me have my clothes, please. Yes, ma'am. an affair. Did you perceive the smell of a lady's perfume again today? Why don't you look for something better to do with your life and accuse me every day of having an affair? No, this one is real. Because I saw you with my two eyes with her coming out from a hotel. Is that what makes you think I'm having an affair? Well, for your information, I was there on a business appointment. Oh, business. So your office is no longer conducive for you to do your business. A vital partner in the business is lodged in one of the suits there. We went there to see him. And um, you and the lady were coming out of the hotel hand in hand. Rebecca. Yeah. And by the way, what were you doing in that place? What are you asking me for? Am I not supposed to know? You are having an affair. If you can do it, a woman can too. What did you say? You heard me. You will do no such thing. You're a married woman and that you remain. You have a lot to lose. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Who is she? I told you, she's a friend. Perhaps I should rephrase it. 
What is her name? And what does she do? And what do you need her for? Oh, I see you don't want to tell me. I thought you said you have nothing to do with her. There is absolutely nothing between us. That I can't go out again? I've been standing out here for the past 30 minutes. Didn't I tell you I was coming back by 6 p.m.? So what? I mean, is it the first time you say you're coming back and you don't even show up? I mean, why should I bother my head over the fact that you're, you said you're coming and then I'll just end up being disappointed? Was that also why you switched off your phone? I switched off my phone? I did switch off my phone. I mean, it might have been um, network failure. So then, where have you been? I um, I, I I had I had to go and see your sister, Mrs. Adams. Mrs. Adams was the first person I called, and she said she hasn't heard from you all day. Well, I I was on my way there. Um, when I remember that she said you were going to come home early, so I made a turnaround and as I was coming back home, I mean, there was just, just this traffic. I mean, it was so hectic. I mean, it was... You don't sound yourself. Now, what's the matter? Well, I, 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 I found out her name. Pamela, isn't it? Knowing her name is not a proof that I'm dating her. She's just an associate. There's nothing between us. I know you will not admit it until you're caught red-handed. If I can't see you, other people will see you. And God in heaven is watching you, Festus. I don't seem to understand you anymore. I don't. Well, you 
started it. Started what? You started it first. Started what? You started it. Get out of my face. Leave me alone. I am saying the first boss is having an affair. <laughs> it's not true. It's not in his character. <laughs> my husband is having an affair. I have costed him with the facts and he denied it. Then it is not true. I know my brother very well. He's not good at lying. Oh, <laughs> the first us he used to know has changed. He now tells lies very well. Do you know that he looked me straight in the eyes and denied it when I saw them both come out of the hotel? Rebecca, are you sure she's not his business associate? No way. They're not in the same business. <sighs> Listen, I... The way they were carrying on. I know they're lovers. Have you found out about her? Yes. Um, she's the daughter of um, one of these powerful politicians, and um, her name is Pamela Johnson. Pamela Johnson? You know her? No, it's not true. Pamela can't do this. Are you telling me you know her or what? Jane! Oh, please relax. This relax. This concerns my brother. I don't want to do anything to jeopardize his marriage at this point. I'll speak to him first. Please. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Jane! You and I were friends before I met your brother. I brought a matter to you. And what you're telling me is that you want to speak with your brother first before you tell me the truth. My role in your relationship with my brother has been positive all this while. I don't want to do anything negative. How would your telling me the truth be negative? Just now! Look at it this way. If I caught you in bed with your lover, would you be happy if I tell your husband about it? Well, you, you, you can't catch me in bed with another person. Then why then are you bothered about his infidelity? What for? What do you mean? Most women who complain about their husband having affairs normally want to have an affair of their own too. And if you continue this way, by the time I into having an affair, Jane, you are sick in the head. You are sick in the head. Hey, look at you defending your brother's infidelity and merging that I want to have an affair. What then do you want to achieve? What? Oh, so I should watch another woman snatch my husband away from me. I assure you, my brother would do no such thing. There is no way he can marry Pamela Johnson. Okay, I'll tell you about Pamela, but that would only your fears. Pamela is the girl he was dating before he married you. I didn't know Festus had a serious relationship before we got married. Mm -mm. That happened while she was calling abroad, and everything happened in her absence. And then, that's why I'm convinced that he might be having an affair. She is this old flame. There's nothing. Okay, don't worry about that. I'll speak to my brother about it. Speak nothing to him. I can speak for myself. Look at you. Look at you, whom I trusted. I thought you were my friend. And now you're supporting your brother to cheat on me? Rebecca, I was only trying to protect you. You know your marriage to your husband happened in a hurry. Remember? You know what, Jane? I don't want you to come near me again. In fact, I can't even trust you anymore. Don't even intercede for me. Just keep away from me. Do you understand? Rebecca, I'm very sorry if I have offended you. Rebecca, we have come a long way. Don't allow this little matter tear us apart, please. Little matter in the Did! Enjoy it. But honestly, I have never been to one before. And what do I tell my husband? Fuck that. We can walk out for him. Mm. Yes. I tell him. Anything. <laughs> There's always something to work <laughs> Who's it? Yes, who's that? Me, Sonia. Uh, just hold on one minute. 
Uh, hold on. Yes. Um. Oh, tune in. Hi, honey. Oh, how are you? Um, I, I was actually on my way out. See, I, I have an appointment with my supervisor, so um, I, I think you were supposed to have a lecture now. Yeah, the lecture didn't hold. I just want to um, rest a little bit. I'm feeling dizzy. Okay, uh, why don't you come with me, okay? We'll see my supervisor together and then we'll go have lunch afterwards. You see, what is wrong with you? I'm telling you that I'm feeling dizzy and I need to rest. And how can I go, go see your supervisor sorry, with you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll tell you what, okay. We'll, we'll pass by the doctor, okay? We'll pass by the doctor. You know, just make sure you're okay. Hmm? All right, then. Hmm? Okay. It is this. How can I be locked up in my own daughter's boyfriend's house? How can I? How can I? Lord. Oh, oh God. Oh Lord. Please help me. Help me, Lord. If I escape this, I swear I'll never set foot here again.
Where have you been again? I have been investigating you and Pamela. And for your information, I can convince you that I have all the records of your past affairs with her. Now I know who has been feeding you with all this rubbish. The earlier I stop it, the better. Just leave your sister out of it. Guilty conscience is what's disturbing you. I will teach her a lesson. She should be ashamed of herself for peddling false and malicious rumors about her own brother. <laughs> Listen, all this will not help you. Huh? You think I'm a fool? Nonsense. something happened to you. Didn't you see my missed calls? I saw them, but I didn't want to talk to you because of what happened at your place the other day. Well, that wasn't my fault. I was just trying to remedy a bad situation. Oh, really? At my own expense? Right, why don't we go inside and try and sort this out, okay? We should go inside and be all alone with you. Okay, why don't we book an appointment? Okay, let's have an appointment. Let's meet somewhere safe. No way. No appointments. And let's call it quits, right? And please, do not come here to look for me again. Becky, Becky, please. You can't do this to me, please. What have I done wrong, Becky? You can't take me up so high and then just leave me high and dry, please. If I don't get an explanation from you, I promise you I'll come here every day. There's no way. I mean, you won't do that. You can't. Yes, I will. Um, all right. Uh, I'll, I'll see you a day after tomorrow.
you. My name is Tim, sir. Uh, um, Tonya's fiance, Tim. Oh. <laughs> Tim, you're welcome. Sorry, I've not been around a few times you've been in the house. So how is everything? Very fine, thank you, sir. All right, come in, let's talk. Oh, he was um, just uh, leaving. Uh, yes, uh, I'm actually in a hurry, sir. Uh, maybe some other time. No, all right. All right, you guys. Uh...
have you been? I've been trying to reach you. My phone was, uh, the battery was down, and uh, I guess I did not charge it overnight last night. Any problem? I have an urgent business to attend to in Abuja. It's very important. More important than the meeting we scheduled? Not more important, but more urgent. The meeting can wait. I've already told my sister about the postponement. What's this meeting you're going to Abuja for on a Saturday evening? It's a different kind of business. I'll explain the details to you when I get back. Festus, what is still holding you now? Yes, I'm on my way. I'll meet you at the airport. Please be fast about it. All right, thank you. She is the one, right? So she's going to Abuja with you. I will explain the details of this meeting when I get back. Tim. Oh, uh, listen. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you back. I'll tell you what you need me. Okay. Wow, where did they happen, Abby? My sister. Yes. I can't believe you can agree to that part. You're born again. Born again. I think the essence of being a born again is to do all things in his name. I mean, you can't sleep with your man. It's Christian mind. It is still fornication. I mean, the Bible is against it. My sister, you are taking a big risk. What if you get married to him and it turns out he cannot perform? I mean, why would he perform? In Jesus' name, he must perform. In fact, my husband too must perform. Okay? You better find that first. But I feel him stand up for me when temptation comes. Hmm. My dear, standing up and performing is are two different things. I mean, if you at last find out that he cannot perform, you are in big trouble. Well, I'm afraid if I allow him now. I mean, you may feel I'm not truly born again. Excuse me. Stop feeling that way. If he needs it, give it to him. And still pretend you're not doing it. After all, you said me that my youth has My dad is for you. I have great news for you and your mother. Now, where's your mother? What's the good news? I have joined politics and I have already been nominated. Dad, I thought we agreed that you should not get involved in politics. Is that what you would have said before your mother? Huh? For how long will I stay away? Or wouldn't you want to hear that your daddy is a senator or the governor of the state? Now, where's your mother? Daddy, that is not the point. Politics is very risky and dangerous. I wouldn't want a situation whereby I go to sleep every night and I just think and worry about your safety. Dad, does mom know about this? Uh, she's not aware, but and I know she won't like it. Now, don't you try to spoil my day by supporting her. Get that? Now, let's make a deal. You heard me talk to your mom. 
if you're able to visa, I will add something to your pocket money. Then I'll buy your car on my confirmation. Daddy, <laughs> are you sure this is not one of your political promises that you're not even ready to fulfill? No way, no way, no way. Huh? You have convinced her? That's not the problem. Yes, Pamela. I have not even dropped my bag. Okay. I'll be there right away. Okay, thank you. Off I go again. What's the matter? Politics. Nathan. Well, make sure you convince your mom before I come back. Deal? All right, it's a deal. Don't worry. I'll check. Great day in the annals of a great cause. In order to consolidate on our past achievements, I will today unveil to you the secret weapon for the future. He has been personally chosen by me under the recommendation of my daughter, whose observation you will not agree with me has always been valuable to this body. So distinguished ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming our political agenda for the moment, Engineer Festus Takula. So now that you've all seen him, we'll sit him down and discuss if at the end of the day, we we'll find him capable of abiding by the agreement we all agree on. We we'll find him with the office and social media. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming the rave of the moment, Engineer Fessel Tukula. How did you go? Good, 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 good. Now tell me, how does your mother feel about the new development? I have not seen her yet. Is she supposed to be around? What do you mean by that? You haven't seen her since you came back? No. Did you ask uh, the security man? Yes, I did, but he said um, she left with her luggage the day he left for Abuja. I didn't travel with her. Really? So... I left her here when I was going to Abuja. But probably she's at my sister's place. And she will come back. Um, but how come she never told any of us or called? All right, I'm not to mind. Uh, I'm starving. Can I get something to eat? Dad, I've been here for two days now, and I've not seen my mother. That is something wrong. No, nothing is wrong. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. But this is strange. My mom is not at home. And my father doesn't know anything about where she is. Come to think of it, why didn't you call her number? I'll call her later. I don't have credit on my phone. Dad. Okay, okay. Get me some... Card. Let me call her. I'll call her now. All right, that's better. what your investigation is meant to find out. 
so you would like us to open a case file? No, 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 no. Actually, I want a private investigation that will be off the records. All expenses will be borne by me. You see, at this stage in my life, I can't afford any scandals. You know, politics is around the corner. That's why I want it as a private investigation. Well, I think you're quite lucky. My leave starts next week. I can use that period to conduct a special and a private investigation. Just give me all the necessary information and finance. That won't be any problem. So, what are your suspicions? I suspect she might be having an affair. feel bad. We will find her. I have engaged the services of a private detective. Three days. Three days, Dad. And my mom is still missing. And to make matters worse, my fiance, who is supposed to be here to console me, is nowhere to be found. Where did he go? I've not seen him since mom disappeared. And his family doesn't even know his whereabouts. Dad, please. Let's go to the police and inform them, please. They'll help find mom faster. The police? Yes. Then the press will get hold of it and I'll be at the center of focus. Don't forget I have my political ambition to protect. My sponsors wouldn't like any scandals. Dad, why is it that all you think of is your selfish interest? Why? Three days, three solid days, and my mom is still missing. Yet all you think of is your political ambition. Dad, mom has been moody lately. And she complains of your uncaring attitude towards her. She goes to bed every night crying. Who knows whether she has decided to harm herself or something. God. It's okay, it's okay. Just bring my mom back to me, please. It's okay. <laughs> I'm engaging the services of the best private detective around. He will find her. But in the meantime, let no one in on this. Not even my sister. You'll go back to school and I'll keep you informed about any development. Contents of my letter. Dear Tonya, I hope you find space in your heart to forgive me. I love your mother more than life itself. That's true. I can't help it. Please understand. 
Alright, Tim. Sure. That's easy for you, not for me. Uh, just try, okay? Look, we have to send out these letters to them. Okay. Um, dear Antonia, at times we find ourselves in situations we cannot control. Because we're only human. Please forgive me. I pray that you find someone who will truly love you. I miss you. Perfect. <laughs> okay, let's put that in writing. Yeah, now where did I drop that pen? Okay, here you go. Okay, let's go. Dear Tony, What else would you say? <laughs> ah, by the way, I did tell my lawyer to um, file for a divorce. You did? Yes. That's nice. <laughs> ah, I can't wait to finally have you out to yourself. <laughs> I found her, sir. She was staying in Grand Hotel. A young man. I did some other groundwork and found out that his name is Tim Panzer. What? My wife with my daughters? Please, not a word of this to anybody. I'll pay you anything you want. But you must not mention this to anyone, please. Not from me, sir. Nobody will be about it. But what do you want to do about it? What do I do? To help with her. I'll never have anything to do with her anyway. So. You want to allow that little boy to be enjoying that your beautiful wife? You can stop investors. There are many ways to do it. Let me handle that angle too. Okay. But nothing better. The boy's father is one of my sponsors.
experience. How did I start? Just be myself to little guy now. Welcome, Dad. How's it been? Dad, um, you know I can't see fine. Dad, you're early today. You had me come home in the afternoon. Any news yet? Well, um... Well, uh... Dad, say something. I hate suspense. What is it? Sonia, I don't have good news for you. What happened? What happened to mom? No, relax. Your mom is not dead. She's alive and well. <sighs> Thank God. Then, where is she? What's happening? Now, I want you to accept what I'm about to tell you maturely. Yes? You must comport yourself. There is nothing that I ever saw that shed blood instead of tears. That's safe. Something. Your mom is lodged at Roland Motels somewhere outside town with Tim, your fiancé. You've been all my life. I wish we had met before now. I love you so, so much. You brought so much joy to my life. You made me recover my lost love. I feel so good. I love you too. I love you so much. <laughs> You'll never leave me. I promise I'll never leave you. I wonder how Tonya is feeling now. I'm sure she's okay. She'll miss you, but she'll be fine. I love you so much, but I just can't help thinking of my daughter. I miss her already. Well, she'll be fine. There's nothing we can do about it. Now let's finish what we started. She met you a hundred years ago. I wish so too. It's beautiful. I knew. Tell me something. Who is my fiance? They were planning to get married in a short while, you know. And they would like to have an HIV and AIDS test done. Our church says it is very compulsory for all members to undergo this test before getting married. Yes, I believe so. <clears throat> it's necessary. 
That means the outcome of the result will be shown to two of you at the same time. Yes. One more thing, Doctor. It's not only the HIV test. We also want to do blood tests to know if our blood is compatible. No problem. Um, you meet the nurse to take your blood samples. Then you come back in the evening. Okay. Results out. All right. It's okay. Thank you very much. Tried this before. For three days now, we've not attended lectures. You now drink, smoke, dress scandalously. Tonya, every night you go out and return in the morning. What is wrong? Please, Rose, mind your own business. Please. I'm sorry. I'm um, Rose. Um, I'm sorry I talked to you about that. Okay. Sorry. It's just that I'm not the wrong I have a lot of things on my mind. Now that's all. Please. What is it that is in my mind? Tony, no matter what the problem is. It's not worth destroying yourself. Please, can I have the bottle? Oh no, you can't, because these are my friends now, for now. Don't tell me that. What am I then? I never said you're not my friend, you're my friend. Oh. Is that what you're trying to say? Okay, let me have to drink, if I'm really your friend. Don't worry, I'll just keep the drink. Then, separate. Okay, what's, what's wrong with you? Because you're my friend. Oh my God! Do you... Yes, uh, your blood group is A, and that of your husband is O, and uh, your genotypes are A A respectively. So none of you is a carrier. Doctor, what about the HIV test? Congratulations, madam. Your HIV test is negative, and that of Mr. Nix is negative too. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Mr. Nix. So your wife is already pregnant. What? Pregnant. That's okay. Go back to sleep.
Doctor, are you sure? Oh yes, just a month old. So you... I don't ever, ever want to see your face again. Anything the problem? Brother. Now what are you doing here? I ask you, what are you doing here? Are you calling my brother? What is the matter? I ask you again, what are you doing here? Can't I come to your house again? Don't come, if you are not invited. Okay, I came to you look for your wife. Where is she? You're asking me. You pretend you don't know where she is. Go to Roland Hotels. Go there and see her. Beds of the same feather. Go there and flock with her. Why are you talking like this now? Roland Hotels. What is she doing there? You pretend you don't know. She is there with her daughter's fiancé. Tell Biara. You cost it all. Me cost. Brother, don't blame me. If you're not messing around with Pamela, all these things won't have happened. After all I told you, don't still believe that all my association with her is political? Why then did you not tell Rebecca? Because she's averse to my political ambition. Oh, there you are now. See what you have cost. Has keeping quiet solved the problem. Brother, you know... Your wife knows no other man beside you. And that is a sacrifice which you would have kept faith with. You wouldn't have made her feel that sacrifice wasn't worth it. I told her I was not having any affair. She wouldn't believe me and you wouldn't believe me. But how would I believe you when you did not take me to confidence in the You didn't tell me anything. Alright. Since none of you believes me, you can all go to hell. But I will now start an affair of my own. But don't you ever come here again looking for Rebecca. She has relocated. Don't ever come back here. Brother. Don't ever come back here.
now. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to live in your absence because um, I didn't want to come complaining that I stole something in your house. I can see you care about your name. Yeah. And I must say that's really very good. Well, you don't look like a thief to me, so I'm sure I can trust you. Um, um, appearance can be deceptive, you know. It's not good to trust the way you did. <laughs> look who's talking. Remember last night at the club, you trusted me completely and you offered your whole body to me all for free. I did? Yes. And you did not even bother to find out if I was dangerous or not. Well, um, thank God you're not dangerous, alright? Well, um, I want to thank you for your hospitality and trust. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for taking very good care of my house as well. Thank you so much. Is there anything else I can offer you? Maybe money or something? Oh, no, no, no. You've offered me enough already. Your house, the shelter, you know. I'm grateful. Listen, um, I have to go now since you're back. Where are you going? To school. I'm a student. This is So... So why is it... Gosh. Why is a very beautiful girl like you involved in excessive nice clubbing and so much alcohol? I hope you don't mind me asking you all that. No, no, I, I don't. It's, it's a long story. Uh, well, <laughs> I was only 17 when I met my husband. I met him through his sister. Jane, who was my friend and still is. <laughs> um, well, because I did not have any experience, my at uh, the first time, the very first time, I got pregnant. <laughs> and I was so scared to take it out. It was actually Jane that advised the brother to marry me. And that was how we got married. You see, that's not love. You just took advantage of a young teenage girl. Hmm. Yes, and you did not love him. Well, maybe at first I did not. Um, and that was probably because um, of my inexperience. Because I didn't know what love was all about, you know. Uh, but later, I grew to love him. And um, irrespective of the circumstances in which we got married, he showers me with lots and lots of love. <laughs> He's a nice man. And because of all that, I just have to reciprocate. And that's it. And don't forget, he was my very first man. And you know how a woman feels about that. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <Her way. laughs> so, you. Okay, man. Um, my first experience was with a housemaid. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's not what you did. She led me to, okay? She was actually older than I was. Yes, she fed me everything that I knew at the time. Oh, my poor baby. Uh, and um, I always considered that as my first love. You know, even though everything we did was purely physical. Uh, you know, and um, well, sometimes, you know, you can't separate love from sex. You know? Sure. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Talking about sex. <sighs> what? <laughs> you know, I think we should just go over that way. No, not again. Ah, no. <laughs> Even though you can't separate these things, sometimes you can just try to find a line, you know. Let's see if we can draw that line. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. Let's see if we can separate this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What have I got in my cell? <laughs> I knew something in me had changed. I 
can't even control myself. It's all right. Just try to calm down, okay? You can control yourself if you really want to. Your mother and her boyfriend are very happy out there, and you're here destroying yourself. Just promise me you won't do this again. I'm so sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. I hope I didn't embarrass myself so much. Please can I ask you a favor. What is it? Please come and stay here. You see, I, I live here alone. I'm sick. You could even take one of the rooms if you want to. Please. I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. I have a room in school. And my father would be mad at me if oh, he finds out that I'm living oh, with a man. I really, really need your company, please. You see, we have so much in common already. We have both been victimized by those we loved so dearly. And I think the only way we can get over this is if we stay together. Please, let's stay together. I don't want um, problems with your girlfriend. I do not have a girlfriend. Why not? Just promise me you'll stay, and I'll tell you my story. Come on, just say yes. Dad, it's just that I'm kind of busy right now. Yes, I understand. But whatever happens, I am still your father. I know I love you very much. You're all I've got. Alright, no problem. I'll see you tomorrow then. Alright, alright. I'll take you by your words. I will expect you tomorrow. Alright. It's just that I have to move on with my life now. Life is the most important thing to me now. At least um, I have to get over and get rid of that guy too. It's not worth it. So it seems that is a problem. Oh, yeah. I never liked that guy. Really? Neither did I think him worthy for you. <sighs> Dear, you're such a nice, sweet girl. That team is so full of himself. He thinks he's a blessing to women. So why didn't you tell me all these things before? I wouldn't have given him my heart in the first place. You wouldn't have listened to me. Yeah, right. You were so much lost in love. And you never did when I was telling you not to destroy yourself. I said I was sorry. And I'm still saying I'm sorry. No hard feelings. <laughs> it's time for lecture yeah um
So how is the lecture gonna go? He said I've missed a lot. Mm -hmm. I've really missed a lot. I know, mm -hmm. I know. Later, you just give me the time. Of course I will. Of course I will. Um, Rose, I want to tell you something. What? I won't be coming back to the hostel yet. Why? I'm staying with a friend in town. A friend? Yeah. A man or a woman? Well, um, a guy per se. But please don't get ideas into your head, okay? okay? No strings attached. We're just friends. Mm -hmm. Wait till you register. Let's go. We're already late. Ah. Just give me the time to collect it. No, please. So, why don't we get married now that um, she has gone away with another man? What are we still waiting for? Pamela, it's because of the trust and respect I have for you that made me tell you all that. Don't make me feel I made a mistake. And don't let the press hear about this. You must wait till after the elections, then I can consider your request. How dare you, Festus? What do you take me for? A fool? Look, I am sick and tired of your stupid excuses. You think I'll suffer for you? Introduce you to the party. Use my father's connection to make you the governorship candidate. Yet... Sit back and watch you make another woman the first lady of the state? I cannot make you my first lady when you are not my wife. But why can't I be your wife? So what do I gain by facilitating your political ambition? What does the sponsor get if not contract? Yes, a contract. If a man helps you to power, he gets contracts. If a woman, a spinster for that matter, helps you to power, she gets marriage contract. I am already married. I don't need a second wife. Are you sure you still have a political ambition? The only reason why my father is giving you this chance is because of the prospect that you will be his son-in-law. You know the members of the Inner Caucus are not too happy with him for forcing a new member on them. Well, you shouldn't have told him I am marrying you. I'm already married. Besides, I'm not having an affair with you. I'm not sleeping with you. What do you mean by that? Haven't you slept with me before? That was 20 years ago, for goodness sake. I was in a bachelor. And you promised to marry me then? Then you went abroad. And in my absence, that girl used pregnancy to, to, to hook you. Oh, know? please, spare me that. Whatever has happened, has happened for good. I am happy with this marriage. No regrets. Look at my finger, Festus. This was the ring you used in proposing to me more than 20 years ago. I am still wearing it because I think one day you might come round to your senses and marry me. I don't need a second wife. Even when our holiness has abandoned our matrimonial home? I am out of here, Festus. If you still want to be the governor, you know where to find your first lady. I don't know. 
must have been those guys at the club and, you know, those nights. It's all right. Just try and um, calm yourself, okay? I'll help you, okay? I mean, <laughs> what are friends for? I'll take you to see this doctor friend of mine who stays on the island. We'll go there tomorrow morning if that's all right by you. That, that's nice of you. Don't worry, just try and um, calm down and be yourself, eh? Now, I guess there's one more thing. If you think I'm your best friend, I want to see your best smile now. Where is the other? It is not around, but he told me to welcome you. So, first class is not around to welcome you. Okay, okay. Get the things inside the house. gentleman that helped me the other day with my bags. So this is what you do while I'm away? Well, I'm out there in the sun, hustling it out. You're here running around with another man having a sizzling affair? Oh, no, that's not what it is. You know, we're just talking and, um, well, the man is just a lone lodger who probably just needed someone to talk to. That's all. There's nothing to it. Oh, nice. You must have had a really long conversation with him for him oh. to have told you all that. What is wrong with you? We talked, yes. And he even told me he has a 19-year-old daughter. Really? Yes. That's supposed to make me jump up in joy? Oh, darling, what's all this outburst about, eh? I've told you there's nothing to it. Now, you listen to me, Rebecca. You belong to me and me alone. You hear that? I do not want to see you with any other man. What is this? Get your hands off. Shut up! Oh! <sighs> You should be glad that I'm dating you. You should be glad that I'm dating an old hag like you. You're busy running around chasing after different men. You sex starved bitch. <laughs> Ingrid. Sex. Sam! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Pamela? Pamela! Where are my wife's pictures? Oh, I took them away. But I've not yet married you. 
But we are now living as man and wife. Now put those pictures back. Rebecca still remains my wife. What do you mean by that? What am I to you then? Even if I marry you, she still remains my wife. But you're going to divorce her. Even if I divorce her, she was once my wife. Now put those pictures back. I cherish their presence. I hold fond memories of Rebecca. It is not something you can just wish away like that. Not in my matrimonial home will that happen. And never you talk about her like that again in my presence. Unless you don't want to be the governor. Please get me a beer. You think I'm lying, Abby? Honestly, he has never kissed me since I moved into his house. He doesn't even notice as if I'm a woman at all. Ah, Rose, please, we are just friends, I beg. Ah, friends indeed. By the way he looks at you, he loves you. But I think he doesn't know how to say it. Eh, hey, now you know that one, I beg, Rose. I know you too, my Tonya. But the look in your eyes. You're falling for him. Uh -uh. You are in love, Tonya. You are. Prophet, you love Rose. You love him. I beg, just pick your own and everything and go back to your hostel, please. Ah. ah. So I should go. Oh, yeah. Because, because I, just, I just said the truth now. I going to go on all in the name of love. Oh, Tonya. I have wronged you so terribly. Can you ever forgive me? Oh. No, I, I can't continue like this. I I've got to go. Let's go.
do you mean by that? I've had a bad day. Is it every day you have a bad day? Why haven't you ever touched me? Look, I am not just in the mood. If you don't put yourself in the mood right now, you're jeopardizing your political future. There is just one thing your threat cannot make me do. Putting me in the mood. Do you know why my wife ran away from home? Because I failed in my bedroom duties. For your information, since I started nursing this political ambition, the essential part of me has gone to bed. If you cannot accept that situation, there is nothing I can do. Good night. I am very flattered that I am the first person you thought of running to. Rebecca, you are welcome in my home for as long as you wish to sort yourself out. Thank you, Jane. But I must advise one thing. You have to make peace with your daughter. Please ask for her forgiveness. Hmm? Jane, how can I face her? You have to face her. Well, not to worry. It is well. I will take care of my brother first. My only problem there now is that Pamela lives with him. I'm not feeling fine. Maybe next week. What's the problem, Festus? You don't want people to see us together, right? What about the marriage registry? When are we going to book a date? I thought you said you were going to church. We'll talk about that when you get back. I'll be back.
What is wrong with you? Why are you looking so sad? Tony, welcome back. I didn't know you were coming. Dad, you've not answered my question. Why are you looking so sad? I thought you've gotten over the problem. It's not that easy. The problem is getting worse. Is the new woman giving you problems? Then I guess um, this is not the right time to tell you what I, why I came here. No, no, no. Go ahead. Say it. Don't worry. Maybe some other time. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Say, so, nothing is ever new to me again. Okay. Um, I came here to tell you that I'll be getting married soon. Hmm. That's good news. Good news. Who is he? Well, um, I'll bring him here tomorrow to see you. His name is Nick. Oh. I'm so happy for you. I'm happy you have decided to move on with your life. Now on this, count on me for any support. Thank you, Daddy. I have also some good news for you. What is it? What's the good news? I'll soon remarry. Dad. Anyway, I'm, I'm happy for you. At least I've gotten over a team, so I just have to move on. But it's, it's just that I... This was not the plan I had for myself. I never planned to climb the eye twice. Never planned for a divorce. Never planned to have a stepmother for my child. Never planned for my daughter to wed in the absence of her mother. I never. Listen, Dad. It's, it's okay, right? Huh? It's alright. I've gotten over to him, and that is what I want you to do. I know it's hard, but just be strong. together in this. Right? Um, please, Tony, please, I beg of you. Please forgive me. Please, I beg of you. Forgive me. You're a closed chapter in my life. Now, stand up and get out. I said get out! It's one thing to make a mistake. It's another thing to realize and repent from it. And by the way, how did you two get me here? How did you find him? I, I, I went to your hostel and your friend Rose, he gave me this address. Please, Tonya, don't Tonya me. You disgust me. And by the way, what of your lover boy? I realized my folly and I left him. Oh, you realized you fully and you left him. And you expect me to take you back as my mother. God, I hate you. What's going on here? This is my so-called mother that eloped with my fiance. She came here to ask for forgiveness, saying that she's realized her mistakes. His mother. 
Please stand up. My name is Nick. I'm Sonia's fiance. All I want is for my daughter to forgive me. And I said I won't! I won't! Listen, honey. To err is human, and to forgive is divine. Please, I know this may not be very easy for you to do, but please, I'd like you to have a change of heart and forgive your mother. Please. You don't understand. The pains, the deceit, betrayal, the emotional trauma. I could go on and on endlessly. You don't know how it feels to know that you're being deceived by the people you know. Especially my own mother. I know how you feel. But please, let's put all that behind us now. Tonya, I know how difficult it is. But please, don't throw away the baby with the bath water. I want you to realize that the old, tattered and worn-out canoe by the riverbank once belonged to somebody. She is still your mother. Can you please forgive her? Please. suffered so much over this matter, even when it's not my fault. And for my in-laws to see me as a girl from a broken home is not good at all for me. That pleased to err is human, and to forgive is divine. 
She has realized her mistake. She's very remorseful. Please forgive her. In fact, right now she's ready to take any punishment you give her. Please. Dad. And you know very well that you're not even happy with her absence. You know that. Please forgive her, please. You're wasting your time. We're going to register tomorrow. I finally made up my mind. I don't want to take another wife. I can't marry again. What about your political ambition? Marriage and politics are two different things. If you want to help me, help me. Marriage should not be a precondition. And my father? Your father has been sponsoring candidates without asking any of them to marry his children. Why should mine be an exception? Because you and I were once lovers. You and I were engaged. So you and I must marry. I can't marry you, Pamela. So, you're willing to lose your governorship post? I'd rather be an ordinary citizen with a happy home than be a governor with a home that is a war front. The governorship tenure is limited. Family problem once it starts has no end. Please don't try to destroy my political ambition. The future is still bright. I can still marry. Oh, please don't give me that kind of promise. You can't eat your cake and have it. Then I quit. Your father can go ahead and sponsor another candidate. Then you can marry him. Be that first lady you want to be. First boss, please. I want to be your wife. You can't be his wife. Just pack your room right now and leave this country. Who is this Chester? You don't know me again, Pamela. You know how it is to be between us. I am ready for you again. Please, out. You ruined my marriage the first time. You want to win it the second time? Okay. Okay. I will go. But I'll be back. See why you prefer this place to our love nest at the hotel. How did you find me? That's irrelevant. Listen, uh, it's it's really not. Shut so up! I don't want to listen to your blabbing. I 
I love you, Rebecca. I've always loved you. I still love you. And you know that's true. But you took my love for granted. Why? Did you have to break my heart? You didn't even say goodbye. I sacrificed everything for you. Everything. Your daughter's happiness. Disgrace from my family. My master's degree program, I sacrificed it all for you. But you were too blind to see it. Tim, I made my own sacrifices too. My family's in disarray right now. And the shame is all mine. You walked out on me for someone else. Now my family has abandoned me. But I don't mind, Rebecca. As long as I have you with me, I don't mind. It won't work. It can't work. We've hurt so many people. We can't spread love hurting others. We shouldn't have started this in the first place. We've got to put an end to it. Put an end to it? We have not even started yet. I'm not going to lose you to another man, Rebecca. Not while I'm alive, I will not lose you to another man. <sighs> Tim, I still love my husband, and I want to go back to him. You want to go back? You want to go back to your husband? Okay. Okay, then. Let's go see your husband. You can't do this, please. Sure. Let's go see your husband. Okay. Tim. Tim. Don't say anything. Okay. my brother. She has been crying since she came back. I've been begging you for four days now. Please let her come back. Please. I am back, Jim. What did you say before? Repeat it now. Repeat it if you can. Pamela. Why? Has it come to this? This is my sister. She's not threatening her in my house. So what if she's your sister? Do you intrude into her private life the way she does into yours? Who is she to determine who you marry? Now I have already informed you that I am not keen on this marriage. Due to pressure from her. Now get out of here. Get out! Pamela!
you leave here immediately unless you want to witness the blood that will flow here now. Please, wait. Let me go. I'm sorry you lost everything. The governorship, your daughter's wife, your life, me. Woman, leave here, you're wasting my time. Festus, I want a simple yes or no answer to my question. Yes, you leave. No, you die. Tim, please don't shed any blood, please. Will you come with me then? It won't work. <laughs> it, it can't work. Then nothing will work. There's no reason to leave if I don't have you, Rebecca. Will you leave Rebecca for me? Or do you want to die? Answer me. If someone pulls a gun at you and asks you to leave your wife for him, what will you do? That is not the answer to my question. I will not answer that question. She'll stay with you. She left me a week ago. I'm just seeing her for the first time. She's still with you. I cannot live with Rebecca. I've lost a lot. I've lost too much because of her. My family has disowned me. Rebecca is everything that I have now. One of us is going to have to lose her. It's not going to be me. She is my lawfully wedded wife. What God has joined together, no man shall put us on. Then you will die. No, no, no. You have to kill me first. You have to kill me first. This affair is over. It's over. Please. Listen, you are not the only loser in this case. You hurt my daughter. And I hurt my own daughter and family. This is the time for us to start afresh. When, when you abandoned my daughter, nobody shot you. When you snatched me away from my husband, you were not shot. If you have to kill, I don't know. There's nothing I can do. But love don't leave here anymore. And there's nothing you can do to bring us back together again. You don't love me anymore. You don't love me anymore. If I don't have you, no one can have you. We're all going to die. No, 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 no one, no one, no one has to die. No one has to die. I mean, we have to leave. Uh, listen, um, we were lovers, and it, it it was great while it lasted. You know. We, we, we have to be alive to relieve every lovely moment. There is a greater moment for every lover when all bitterness disappears and lovers become friends and friends for life. If you've ever felt anything for me, if truly you're a lover, then you will know where you're gone.
episode. So defenseless. We have no grudges against your wife. I accept all the blame. She's a good woman. Goodbye, Rebecca. If we fall, we go hard. 